Well, hello, my fellow Americans. Peace be unto you, and peace be unto the world. I would like to address to you here in this video the speech of President Obama, ISIS, the Antichrist, and a universal one world order. But I first would like to start with the speech of President Obama concerning terrorism last night. I was basically a little dumbfounded that he began his speech by just basically walking right into the terrorist attacks in San Bernardino. He did not say, my fellow Americans. Also during the course of his speech, he said one nation and one people, that's who we are. But he did not say under God. And I truly believe the reason why he did not do that is because when we say one nation, one people under God, indivisible here in the United States, it is the heritage of this country that we are talking of the Christian God, Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty, who rose from the dead. Also, when he said, one nation, one people, and not mentioning God, he is alluding to the future of the world. That in the future, this is what Antichrist is going to declare. Antichrist is going to say that we are one world and one people and without God in it. And the fact of the matter is, is the reason why he's going to do such a thing is because he is going to claim to be God. And it also states in Revelation that there will be great Christian persecution in that particular time of his arrival. Now, I do not mind telling you that I am strictly God and country. For those of you who know me, I do not waver from the faith. I love my country, and I try to report to you honestly, as I have here over the years. And I do believe America is heaven on earth, and I also believe it is only by the gracious hand of God I have and all the citizens here in America have been granted a good life in this country because of the faith in Jesus Christ and because of his almighty hand upon it. I have over the years mentioned that Christian persecution was going to excel in the world and we are seeing this happening now on America's shores. And not only in the world, but here at home. And we see this happening in our time. And Christian persecution has to escalate towards the end times, quite frankly, because it is in the way. And let me explain why. That in order for a one world government to exist, it has to suppress freedom, which Christianity and America represents. And Christianity, both Catholic and Protestant, are universal. They exist throughout the world, and they are beacons of free choice, man's passion, and the revolution of the spirit of man. And Christianity is the cohesion of progress, the progress of self-discovery and common good among men. This is why you see it being persecuted in the world. It pursues world peace, eliminating dark forces of destruction, and above all, preaches to man the importance of being in a free state of choice, making his own decisions, and reaping the results of such fruitful endeavors. These virtues are at the opposite end of a one world order or dominance. They are objectionable to it. And the fact is, is that the order of a universal culture wants complete control, thus the elimination of Christianity and America. This is why I believe you see Christian persecution on the rise. There is an agenda to have Christianity eliminated. And the fact is this is that the strength and power over Christianity is the force that is being perpetrated in the world today. Like I said, it is in the way of universal culture and dominion. Now, no one wants to defeat ISIS in the world. This is a tragedy. And whatever power is at play here, the fact remains ISIS has been allowed to ravage the Middle East allowed to reconfigure strategic power plays in the region and to extend its hand to other parts of the world. Its main thrust is militant 
and Christian hatred, bringing only one philosophy to the world, that through its militant insurgency, it has total militant power and dominance. Let me mention to you, the idea is for them to destroy and to seize absolute control. Now allowing ISIS this freedom of power has created a refugee crisis. Almost all refugees are Muslim which clashes with the Christian faith. This is again, in my opinion, by design. Infiltrating the Muslim faith into the Christian strongholds of the world such as Europe, England and here in America. It is a tool to divide and conquer and eventually declare universal world order is the final scenario sought after. America will be a prime target as Muslim refugees are brought to the country. The idea is to confuse American heritage, to divide its origin, and eventually declare America a universal order or a one world unity with the rest of the world. The end time power of Antichrist for your prophecy buffs will be militant as Revelation states. So you see shades of this power already and Antichrist, it says in the scriptures, will persecute Christians as we see the rise in the world today. The elimination of Christianity is also the mandate of ISIS. And its mandate is also universal control. And its ultimate goal is to eliminate America and the freedom of man. Now I do not mind telling you, I have over and over again stated that the end time and last day prophets have blocked Christian fundamentals because of their doomsday scenario and not understanding the scriptures of the end times and last days. The Christian fundamentals and virtues, the standards and ideals of living, the ethics of the Christian faith are essential for our survival. And if we do not have these, then the overshadowing hand of Almighty God cannot protect us and we cannot reply upon it. As you are seeing in the Middle East, the world is being reshaped by ISIS, which can turn into another power, folks, and join a world power to reconfigure the entire world and world culture. This is a necessary change that must take place in order for Antichrist to arrive on the world scene. This is why I've been telling Christian for years that these are the beginning of sorrows as stated in Matthew 24. The end times are not yet. Antichrist is not around the corner and arriving on the scene tomorrow. But as Matthew 24 states, the hatred of Christianity okay, is on the rise, as it says it will be in the beginning of sorrows. The intermarriage of the Muslim religion or Islam with America's Christian heritage will result in disaster as we have been witnessing in Europe and in England. We today must understand that America in order to be secure must stick to its Christian culture, its heritage, its origin, allowing the infiltration of another culture into America will spell disaster and the end of American exceptionalism. This will reduce America to a third world country and as I stated, a universal or one world order. So my fellow Americans, may we turn unto the Lord who said, He that turns unto me and repents of his sins, I will heal his land. So let us turn. Because if we do not, the galloping forces of darkness and hell shall take hold of this nation and we will be compelled to turn to the Lord who will not hear us. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.